Hey gang, I know I haven't been on here in a while. It's been a rough 2020 and it just seemed like it led into a rough 2021 for me. Um, but my question is, how do I get back my happy? How do you get back your happy? You know, the majority of my life has not been in a happy place, but I always manage to be happy. No matter what, because I'm here. And you're here watching me so how do you get back your happy if anyone got suggestions uh how you get your happy back just let me know because i'm working on getting my happy back and i know i have to take small steps right now i know this i know i have to take small steps and getting back my happy and my happiness is doing these videos my happiness is editing videos my happiness is doing my artwork drawing writing being artistic th that's my happiness and I bought things that were that fit in my truck to do these things and I just haven't done them because it was a really rough year last year for me mentally emotionally and, and at the end of the year it became physically because I started getting my weight all back and it's just been really really rough but if you're still here you can still do if you are still here you can still do and that's what I'm going to do I am still here and I'm going to do something about be, getting my happy back just letting me know your suggestions on how you got your happy back if you ever lost your happy and um, and that's what I'm working on you know I'm driving a truck I, I have to stay high-spirited the other day a H HMD driver tried to run me off the road uh, I guess I wasn't going fast enough for him. I was going to speed limit, so he needed to go a little faster. But he gets right in front of me and, and goes just as slow, okay? Because uh, it was a truck in front of him going the speed limit. So I guess he was like, I guess I won't pass him up. But it could have been a prejudice thing, you know, because I, I made sure I didn't look in his face. And I think that makes a lot of drivers mad if you don't look over and acknowledge them. I think that makes them mad too. But I knew that he was trouble when I saw him through my mirror just, you know, just acting crazy back there. So I was like, he, I'm going to slow down and let this fool by. But he didn't have to try to roll, you know, run me off the road. Just go around and keep going, sir. I don't understand rage roll in an 18-wheeler. I think rage roll, rage, road rage in an 18-wheeler is the most stupidest thing ever. And if you do that, you're an idiot. Because you can not only kill yourself with just one tip, one little tip. You can kill me, which he probably didn't care if he killed me because he was trying to. Um, I didn't get his truck number, but I was able to call him. I doubt if they did anything. Uh, but I got his trailer number it, when it was so crazy because his trailer number was 666. 6662. <laughs> he's, he's the devil times two. Whoever you are with that trailer number. And it might be somebody else might have that trailer number today. So don't. If you see a driver out there with that trailer number, you know, we switch up trailers all the time. So that guy might not have that same trailer number. So don't don't say, man, you tried to run a girl off the road. Might not be the same driver. So please don't do that. But that driver that night uh, that was driving, that, that, that was pulling that trailer, actually, I mean, and I mean, tried to run me off the road where, to the point where when he was passing me, he just came straight over into my lane. And I might not look you in your face, but I'm looking at your tires. If I can see your tires, I'm looking at your hood. I'm looking at everything to make sure you don't get in my lane so I can get over. Because I like my 2021. I don't want nobody hitting it. So, so when I saw him coming towards me, when I saw his mirror getting close to my mirror, I just moved on over a little. And then he just kept on coming. The more I moved, the more he came over. So by the time I was riding the shoulder, he was all the way in my lane with his trailer. Okay? That's how that's that's how serious it was with him. I'm so serious I'm spitting now. So <laughs> that's how serious it was this guy trying to run me off the road. And that could have been it could have killed me. You know, he could have killed me and he could have killed and it was a narrow road, it was on sixty two. So he could have killed me. The two trucks that was right behind me could have slammed right into me and slammed into him. Uh even if he if he hit me and flipped me over, 
and, and my trailer was in the road, the two trucks behind me still would have hit my trailer or tried to void my trailer, and they would have flipped too, and there would have been maybe two more truck drivers dead, and the oncoming cars, if they're going too fast, they would have hit all of us, and that would have just been a calamity. So I don't think that driver should be on the road. If you got road rage on the road, you don't know if it's a new driver. It could be, It could have been my very first day driving by myself. And I could have freaked out. You know what I mean? It could have been my very first day driving by myself without a trainer. And I could have freaked out. You know, there are new people out here. That guy who tried to run me off the road was new once upon a time. He didn't come out his mama driving a truck. Really? He didn't pop out his mama and say, what? Ain't he willing? No, he did not. So, you know, finding my happy. You know, after that brush with life because it's a brush with life every time you get in this truck it's a brush with life every time we sleep in our beds because we don't know who coming through the door shooting that's the police so to have to deal with that and then there's a lot of other things personal things which i don't mention online um i gotta find my happy Cause I like to smile, I like to laugh, I like to feel good. I didn't get these big old cheeks for nothing. They just stay perky, right? Because I like to push them up. <laughs> so I'm working on my happy. Let me know what you do to get your happy. And you guys have a wonderful day. And if you're not doing anything, do something. But make sure you do something good. Bye-bye.